Hey, what's up guys? It's Benny here and welcome to the world's first 200 plus while wearing a bandana. Um, uh, guys, I, I know I don't have a face camera or anything to prove it, but I was, I promise you, I was wearing a bandana during this gameplay. Uh, so it's, 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 I was absolutely mind blown. I was like, no way did I manage to do this while wearing a bandana. Um, but guys, anyway, in all seriousness, let's get onto the gameplay anyway. It's a 200 plus on raid. And like, guys, I know on YouTube, most of the 200 pluses have been on raid and stuff like that. But for me, I was really happy with this because my first 200 plus on raid is one of those game plays that I thought I was gonna get, but I kept choking like, every time I was gonna, I was dying like one off uh, like a set of streaks that would have allowed me to get the 200 plus solo uh, while playing with friends. I had a load of fails while playing on Friday with subscribers as well, but I finally, finally managed to get it, and I was like, yes. Finally, um, I'm using the Vector, which has become like my favorite gun. It's, it is a, an amazing, amazing submachine gun. I, I, I'm, I'm really annoyed with myself that I discarded it and was like, that sucks. It sucks with a suppressor still, but without one, it is amazing. Like, uh, you can win almost every other gunfight. Um, and that actually reminds me, one of the most overpowered guns I've been using recently is the KSG. If, if you, you've got the aim, and it, like, it is ridiculous. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try to get like a 200 plus with that. Um, over the over the over this week or a really nice gameplay because I've been really enjoying using that. But the class I'm using with the vector is I'm just running fast mags. I'm not running any other attachments, and then I'm running hardline, flak jacket, scavenger, toughness, dexterity, and C4, I believe, uh, which is kind of like my, my standard submachine gun setup because it kind of gives you that whole balance that you need. Um, the C4s to get in those people when you're out of ammo or they're around corners and you don't really want to risk yourself getting killed. Um, but guys, anyway, that, that's the class I'm using and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I think I get around 90 gun kills or something like that um, in the game as well. There's a lot of close combat stuff in, in their spawn. Uh, and I was also not playing in a full team in this. I think it was a six man um, when I was playing with subscribers. It was literally, I got this literally about three or four games um, before I got my um, 211 kill game on Meltdown, I was like, I got a string of them, and I was like, oh my god, I'm finally getting them, finally getting them, um, and it is, I was just really, really chuffed with it, but anyway, anyway, moving on, because I want to get onto a topic, um, and it's, like, you guys have probably noticed this, uh, what the topic's going to be, because of my title, uh, it's titling your videos on YouTube, like, well, first and stuff, because I, I, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things that I've, I've, it's, I've been kind of interested what reading and watching on Twitter, and kind of how it's unfolded, because, more and more people are starting to talk about it and how people seem to be mistitling their videos or like titling just to make it so it sounds a lot more impressive or bigger than it actually is and like fair play to them because like I know my personal uh, opinion when I'm watching videos on YouTube and like going around watching gameplays I will click on uh, videos at World First because I've always seen World First as like being extremely difficult games I, I kind of want to see how they manage to get it because I'm <laughs> normally in the World First race like trying to go for the World First races going for the World First 200 plus and stuff uh, when Black Ops 1 came out it was like World First like race to 100 plus I can remember that all the YouTubers were like I'm getting the first 100 plus like, even at Eurogame it was like I'm getting it I'm getting it and I was like on the rush for that and I managed to get it which I was really really happy with and then I kind of fell behind when um, all the PS all PlayStation 3 gameplays started coming out and they, and they were amazing gameplays like you can't take anything away from them they may be on PlayStation 3 but for the time when they were got when they were gotten they were like exceptional exceptional gameplays and you watch them and like oh, okay so you can do it doing that because it's it doesn't matter what console you're playing on, um, what uh, thing you like, anyone you're playing. It, there's certain tactics to get certain scores and stuff on every single map. Like 200 pluses, my turbine uh, tactic is to use the VTOL load star and then try and like get as many kills of those because then you'll loop your streaks. Um, and this, like my raid tactic, is kind of try get as quick in the spawn, uh, like at C or A. Uh, this but this gameplay was at A, but. It, and meltdown is kind of stay on the ridge. Everything has tactics, and you watch those videos to see how they do it. But I, recently, there've been things that I've seen people get. Like people are claiming world first. For people I've seen get like just playing normally, not YouTubers, not like um, amazing players. Like it's world first with d double nuclears. Double nuclears are great gameplays, but can you claim world first them? Because I know people on uh, public who who've gotten double nuclears since like the game came out because they ran non lethals and just went for nuclears and stuff um, and now it's just like getting slightly out of hand I think it's kind of misleading because I've, I've stopped going oh wait world first wait is it really a world first because I think there's only a couple world first left in this game world first 300 plus the guy who gets that my god is it's gonna be an incredible gameplay I don't it may be used cheap tactics it may use stuff but it's it's however you do it it doesn't matter if you play in a full nine if you reverse boost or stuff it's gonna be a very different gameplay because Everything, 
everything has to go perfectly for you. Spawns have to go right. You have to get lucky on spawns. They have to be spawning in your like, area. No one can leave. Um, it's these sort of gameplays that I think have to are like the world first because it's like, damn, how the hell did you do that? Um, and I, I watch World First now, uh, well, some of them being claimed, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's doable. I've seen people do it before, it's not the World First, but you're claiming it and stuff like that. Um, which is a shame, and it's, I'm, I'm sorry for rambling on about it, I'm, I'm going to get off the topic now, because um, it's one of those things that I've found that just personally takes me, and I hate getting into dramas and arguments and stuff like that, but I, I thought I should just throw my two cents into it. And guys, let me know what you think about it as well. Um, what do you think should be titled World First? Do you think it should be those really exceptional gameplays that get um, uploaded like 300 plus, uh, solo triple nuclears, um, stuff like that, that maybe that's like, still up for grabs with like solo quad nuclears, stuff like that that's still up for grabs that haven't been done yet. I think those are really the last couple um, World First left for Black Ops 2 anyway. Because uh, it's getting like it's qu it's quite a lot into the game now. So it's, it's four months. So think about it. A COD game normally lasts around um, eight months before it starts dying out. So we're we're like oh we're around halfway through the cycle now, and like most of the stuff that has been done. But anyway, I want to move on and talk about what I'm going to be aiming for next. Because uh, I, I I've always said to myself I want to do daily uploads, and it's like. I, I keep saying it to myself, I, I normally upload like three or four times a week, uh, but I kind of want to get it every day and more, more consistency, because uh, I've got loads of series that I want to upload, and then I don't upload them, and I'm annoyed with myself, and that's partially because my damn internet. My internet, right, is horrendous. My dad was at work today, uh, at work from home, uh, working on a load of like CRM stuff and stuff like that, and he was using virtual machines and stuff like that, he uses a lot of my internet usage. And I was, I was, I went to play Call of Duty, and it was impossible for me. I really feel bad for people now who have really high ping rates and like worse internet than me. Even though I doubt that's possible, because I'm, I'm running on like a, uh, a two up, two download and like a 0.7 upload at the moment, which is horrendous. I, I, I bet you, little internet connection is better than my connection. Um, and it was just, I went to play a few games, and my god, my god, the connection, it just made me realise how important connection actually is uh, on this game. Like, when you compare to when you play it on LAN or anything like that, you play it, like, on this game, and your connection is bad, it is, oh my god, I'm like, I'm like shooting at people, and they're just not dying. Um, and it's just like, okay, I'm shooting you, I'm shooting you. Right, and, my, and then suddenly I look at the kill cam, I've not shot a single bullet, and I'm just like, I was spraying at you for ten seconds. And it's really, really infuriating. It's, it's, I, I know they're never going to do it because it costs billions and billions of pounds to do on a, like for consoles. Uh, it's like something I've shouted for ages is for dedicated servers because it just makes this game so much better. Because um, it's one of those things. Everyone on a level playing field. That's what I loved about Eurogame. Everyone was in an even field, and it, it plays the game how it's supposed to be played. Um, like there's no arguing about. Oh right, yeah, you beat me because of connections and stuff like that. Which is I, today has made me realise maybe why um, some people are, cannot do as well as others. Like YouTubers like Jay Nasty. Right, uh, he always goes on about his connection, but after today, I can understand and see where he's coming from. If he has what I've had today, uh, my God, oh God, it's, it's giving me nightmares and shivers just thinking about how bad my connection was today. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, I'm coming up to the end of the video now. Uh, but she's a 200 plus on raid, and remember, guys, I w it is a world first. I was wearing the bandana during this gameplay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can't believe that. Uh, but, uh, guy, I was, thank you so much for watching, and it's uh, like been a real pleasure for all the feedback that you guys have given me. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. I'm going for the KS because a few subscribers were asking me to get a KSG gameplay, so I'm going for that now, and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm going to probably use some shotguns a lot more. Uh, but follow me on Twitter and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and guys, remember also go check out uh, We the Op. We the Op. It's, I'll put a link in the description because. It's a kind of team, it's similar to uh, a lot of other channels and thing, but it's with like other YouTubers like Insomnilus, uh, Jay Nasty, Weagle, uh, loads of other players, uh, Midnight Boss and stuff, all who post on that channel. I'll put a link, go check that out, and guys, I'll see you all soon. Bye.